वेलकम बैक नाउ हियर वी आर प्रोसीडिंग फॉर लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड दिस इज द ए सी सर्किट एनालिसिस ऑफ द सर्किट सो देर इज ए सी सोर्स वो ए सी वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड ए करंट सोर्स दैट विल बी ऑल्सो ए सी आर प्रेजेंट सो वी सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाय डिफरेंट मैथड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाय सुपरपोजिशन थियोरम After that, we solve this question by using mass analysis, then nodal analysis, and finally we solve this question by Thevenin and Norton theorem. So this is the very important lecture. So first of all, we solve this question by superposition theorem. So in superposition theorem, first of all, we take sub circuit. Uh, in main question, we describe here. this is current i1 this is current i2 and this is current i we have to find out i in this branch so we take this main question first of all in step number 1 taking one source at a one time so we take this voltage source uh, live and the other source current source will be uh, removed from that circuit so uh, we remove current source by their internal resistance that will be infinite so we open circuit this terminal so this is our circuit and in this circuit there is a closed path so apply kvl for this one and we assume current according to the main circuit i1 dash i dash and i2 dash we have to find out i dash so apply kvl here so it would be start from here let us say this is a this is b this is c this is d so apply kvl in start from a b c d so this is 5 angle 0 degree minus 4 this is positive negative 4 i1 dash minus j2 i2 dash sorry i dash is equal to 0 so basically this is and the terminal is this is positive negative so that that would be uh, plus minus of this minus of this it taking with plus so when we solve this i1 dash is equal to i dash so we will get i dash is equal to i1 dash is equal to 5 angle 0 upon 4 minus j2 so when we take this whole in calculator 5 angle 0 minus divide 4 minus i2 or maybe j2 so we uh, put this uh, whole uh, this uh, whole uh, expression in the calculator we uh, solve and convert in into the polar form it would be 1.18 1.118 and here shift is equal to it is angle 26.56 degree so in first circuit we find out i1 dash now uh, now we are taking step number 2 now this circuit is short circuited we remove a uh, source 1 Uh, voltage source and we alive this current source so now we consider again the current distribution this is i1 double dash this is i double dash and this is i2 double dash so we had here applying current division rule so this is the main current so we have to find out i double dash that will be uh, required for main current to angle 0 degree and current is distributed in these two uh, uh, impedances so we take that impedance which are not present in the here means the opposite so that will be 4 ohm here and the whole impedance that will be 4 minus j2 i already explained current division rule so when we uh, uh, write this expression in the calculator in this way uh, 4 minus j2 multiply by and, and 4 and 2 angle 0 degree it would be in polar form 1. 788 shift is equal to and this is the angle 
26.565 degree so this is we have two current in respective branch uh, minus j2 that will be i dash and i double dash so net current net current that would be i is equal to i dash plus i double dash so put here 1.118 angle 26.56 degree plus this 1.788 angle 26.56 degree when we put this in the calculator we get 2.9 angle 26.56 degree so in this way we have to calculate i n branch this is minus j2 ohm now we solve this question by mass analysis so first of all we consider current i1 in mass number 1 clockwise and current i2 in mass number 2 anti clockwise so first of all we distribute our uh, polarity on each element this is positive negative and here current is entering from the side this is i1 this is positive negative and here both current are downward so that is i1 plus i2 and it will it would uh, um, entering from the side this is positive this is negative this is positive this is negative so apply kvl for in mesh one start from here uh, the last polarity of 5 angle 0 and this is minus 4 into i1 and here minus j2 omega and this is minus and this is minus it would would be positive so this is i1 plus i2 is equal to 0 so this is 5 angle 0 um, and minus 4 and this is positive we can we can see the minus because it one minus is out taking outside so this is i1 and plus j2 omega and uh, j2 omega this is i2 so this is is equal to 0 and we know that from uh, i uh, mesh number 2 by using super mesh super mesh i2 is equal to 2 angle 0 degree so put here to angle 0 degree and solve this for i1 so for i1 it would be this is to angle 0 degree taking both these both here and we take i1 from taking from right side so this is 5 angle 0 degree minus 4 angle 90 degree 2 and 2 4 angle 90 degree because this is a j upon 4 minus j2 so when we put the whole uh, expression in the calculator so we get this is 1.432 angle plus k 65.225 degree so this is basically our i1 so in this way uh, we calculate i1 so in this whole uh, middle branch we know that the whole current is i1 plus i2 so i1 is 1.32 angle plus k 65.225 degree and plus i2 i2 consider we, we can um, two angle 0 degree as we uh, derive from super mesh so it comes 2.9 angle 26.565 degree so this is the same answer when we uh, solve this question by uh, mesh analysis so now we solve this question by kirchhoff current law means nodal analysis so when we solve this question so this is uh, let us say node a and uh, assume the potential va so first of all apply kcl at point a means summation of all incoming current is equal to summation of all outgoing current so uh, apply here this is i1 is equal to uh, sorry i1 plus i2 is equal to i so uh, what is the value of i1 start from here 
0 this is 0 and the last polarity of this plus 5 angle 0 degree minus of VA upon R 4 so this is for I1 now for I2 the current, we know that the value of current 2 angle 0 degree so put directly 2 angle 0 degree is equal to I this is the main so we know that for I1 VA minus 0 upon minus K J2 so when we solve this this is 1.25 angle 0 degree minus and we consider this first 2 angle 0 degree we taking this VA upon 4 minus of taking right side so it would be VA 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon J2 so when we solve this it would be VA 0.25 and this is multiply minus sign taking uh, uh, here by using J so this is plus of J 0.5 so when we solve for VA VA it would be 1.25 angle 0 degree plus 2 angle 0 degree divide by 0 0.25 plus J 0 0.5 so when we solve this and convert into the polar form it would be 5.814 and angle minus of 63.435 degree so when we this put this here in for i this i so we know that the value of i that would be va upon minus k j2 so 5.814 angle minus k 63.435 degree upon minus k j2 so when we put here it comes uh, in convert into the polar form it comes 2.9 angle 26.56 degree so in this way we get the same answer as we uh, already calculated by mash analysis and superposition theorem so in uh, in part b of this lecture means at le lecture number 27 we solve this question by Thavnin and Norton by remaining two methods. Thank you.